Hi, this is Stephen Brower from Renton Valley Community College. This is for CSIT 256, Computer Architecture and Assembly Language. Um, there's another video that's going to be the overview of um, Irvine Chapter 6. And one of the other things the overview video will show is how there's five different files. Um, and um, the file I'm in here right now um, is the one that is going to be, whoops, sorry, the one that is named je underscore and underscore fish or cut bait um, so that demo file that's up there i brought and i pasted it into this main asm that's here let me run it and then what we'll do is take a look at what's going on uh, behind the scenes um, so i'm presenting the user with uh, a prompt um, that includes a menu of items and the blinking cursor that's here now the thing that's different about this than we did previously. This is a read car, not a read string. Um, and with a read car, as soon as you hit a key on the keyboard, the program will resume. Um, and when the program resumes, um, AL has the ASCII character of whatever it is the user had typed. Read car does not echo back on the screen what the user had actually typed in. If you want to display back to the user, you actually would have to then write the character back onto the screen uh, in order for the user to see what it is that um, um, that they had typed. Um, okay, so let's say we are fishing. I'll do a cut bait. <laughs> oh, yucky. Um, and let's just cut a little, little more bait. Um, now, what you can't tell what I'm doing, especially because I'm not echoing it on the screen, um, I'm actually hitting little c. If I hit capital C, the same thing happens. So this program is not case sensitive. We'll see how um, I do that. Um, let's fish. Okay. Fish a little bit more. Let me drink. Oh, drinking isn't valid. <laughs> uh, drinking isn't valid. Okay, sorry. Um, let, let me just quit. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll call it a day. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, so I just want you to see how this thing functions. Um, in terms of, of the program. So we're just going to do something different. So it's either going to display yucky, display go go fish, display you entered an invalid choice, or display bye bye, depending on what it is that uh, uh, the user um, typed. Um, okay, so um, these are the strings that are those different displays. So there is the prompt with the menu, and then here's the buy, the fish, the um, cut bait and the invalid um, uh, choice. Um, so if we look inside of the main procedure, first thing we see right here, this is a code label. Um, and this is going to be, in a sense, the top of the loop. Um, and um, what will happen is later, when we do a fish, we'll jump back up to here. And then if we do a cut bait, we'll jump back up to here. And if what the user enters is invalid, We'll jump back up here. So one of the things, this top of the loop, um, this is the label I'm using for the top of the loop, which then shows the menu, um, and then here it then prompts the user. So here's the read car, <clears throat> and the read car, um, that's the thing that as soon as the user hits a character, the program will proceed. Um, whatever the user, whatever key the user hits, AL has the ASCII code equivalent of that character. Um, and then we have this thing going on, the and. Now I do want to point out a couple of things, and that is seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Um, uh, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Um, so what I want to show here is the bit stream here is the ASCII for a capital A. The bit stream here is the ASCII for a little a. And um, the only difference that the upper and the lower a have is this bit here, which is the 2 to the 5 bit. So the idea is if um, we take the input from the user and if we clear out the bit, if it was a lowercase letter, it becomes capital. So A and, um, now this one affects the um, destination. So AL is going to be altered. 
Now, what it will be is what the ones are going to say is, well, whatever was there previously, keep. But whatever is in this position, the 2 to the 5 position, zero it out. Um, so if there is a lowercase letter, it now is a capital letter. So that, and I'm just scrolling down here, so all the comparisons we do next, I only have to look at capitals. I don't have to look at lowercase. If what the user had entered was a symbol, um, well, who knows what we would get at that point if we actually clear out the bit. But since I'm only looking for letters for this program, since I'm only looking for letters, that's fine. If we did allow the user to enter both symbols and numbers, we actually would only do this and if it actually was in the range, you know, 97 to 97 plus 26. Um, okay, but now that we've made AL uppercase, so now we have the compare statement. And so the compare statement, now this is non-destructive. AL is unaffected by this. Um, and that's important because um, since AL is unaffected by this, that's why we can do these three comparisons, that the AL is not changing um, in between because we don't have anything that's changing AL at this point. So the first compare, it's going to compare AL to the um, ASCII character 8. And remember the compare, behind the scenes, it figures out all the different ways that these things relate. Uh, meaning if it's unsigned, is this before this? If it's uh, signed, is this before this? If it's um, uh, unsigned, is this after this? Uh, if it's unsigned, uh, or I'm sorry, if it, it, it does all that. So remember the comparison compares every way possible that these two things relate. This here, this is the conditional jump, and this one here is JE. And it just looks for, are the bits the same? So what it really is getting uh, to the, the crux of is, are the bits in AL the same as the bits for a capital F? If they are, it'll go to this code label. So go fish. So let's scroll down and find go fish. Here's the code label for code fish. And what it'll do is it will display using the right string, the go fish message on the screen. And then here we have a JMP. A JMP is an unconditional jump, meaning no matter what, it is going to transfer control of the program by going to this code label. Well, that was the top of our loop. So the top of our loop, it comes back up here, displays the menu again, and then waits for input from the user. So once the user hits a character, the 2 to the 5 uh, bit is going to be cleared out. Um, let's say we, uh, oh, we'll do the compare. And let's say when we try to do the, the uh, conditional jump, JE, let's say they're not equal, so then it comes down here. A new comparison is done, comparing AL to C. And then it'll do JE, so it'll compare the bits. Um, and let's say they are. Let's say the user did hit C. Um, uh, the, the JE, well, that's true, so let's go to cut bait. So if we go to cut bait, um, similar thing as the fish, it displays the message unconditional jump to the top of the program. So we go back to the top of the program, display the menu, get the character from the user, zero out the 2 to the 5 character, um, and then we start doing the compares again. Um, is it, um, well, compare AL to F, are they the same? No. Compare AL to C, are they the same? No. Let's say in this example here, we compare AL to Q, and also not the same. This is when I did the D for uh, um, for drink. Well, since it's not equal, it comes to the code that follows it, means we're here. Um, so one thing, if, comparing this to Java, think of this as being the trailing else. This piece right here would be the trailing else. And in terms of carrying it to Java, if AL equals equals F, we do this. Else, if AL uh, equals equals C, we do this. Else, if AL um, equals equals Q, we do this. Else, we're here. So this is the trailing else. We'll display, our, uh, display, our. we'll display the message saying that it's invalid, and then again we'll do the unconditional jump to go back to the top of the loop. Display the menu. Um, uh, wait for the user to hit a key. Uh, once the user hits a key, we clear out the two to the five character. Um, so it'll compare AL to F. Let's say it's not equal. We'll compare AL to C. Let's say it's not equal. 
it'll compare a, a L to Q. And so let's say in the situation that we did hit Q. So J E when A L um, is Q um, will jump to the po to the code label say buy and leave. So if I scroll down, here's the say buy and leave. It'll display the goodbye message and then pff, exit. It leaves. <laughs> That's it. Um, okay, so uh, this demo here, and just a reminder, when you see up in Canvas, J E and Fisher cut bait. Um, and so this is the demo that's up in Canvas, um, which goes through, well, it goes through JE, it goes through AND, um, and it goes through unconditional um, jumps. Okay. Um, I just looked at the demo real quick, and just one thing I want to um, take care of for any uh, doubting Thomases um, is that my, my demo at the very beginning was kind of, in a sense, clean. Um, meaning I didn't go back to some of the other options again. So I'll cut bait, I'll fish, I'll do some more cutting bait, I'll fish, um, I'll try to drink, uh, which is invalid, uh, I'll fish, I'll, I'll cut bait, sorry, um, I'll fish, um, cut bait again, drink, uh, and then finally I'll, I'll quit. And I just wanted to add to the end here a run <clears throat> where it was just uh, a, long, a longer run. One more thing. I'm like Lieutenant Colombo. Um, the, the two changes I just put here are not going to be in the demo up in Canvas. Um, but what I'm adding here is a write car uh, after the read car and then moving the curse to the beginning of the line. And what that will do is that will show onto the screen what the user has typed. So there's my cut bait as both lower and upper case. My fish, back to cut bait again. Let me do my drink. Well, do the drink. No, nope, they're both invalid. Uh, back to cut bait, back to fish, and then finally um, quit. Um, so the demo I have up in Canvas doesn't have these two things, the right car and the clerf, uh, but that is just if we, you know, really, 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 really want to see the character that's being typed on the screen, um, that's how we would echo it back. So that, that's the echo. Okay.